Hello and welcome to more fun with Roaring Records. So this is another tutorial. Today I want to take what we learned about um, filters and controlling our MIDI controller messages like our sliders and our knobs. I already showed in a previous video how you would adjust those things such that they controlled various parameters within logic for instance i've set up my slider knob here to control the volume of the track drifting in hyperspace and i've set up this knob to control the rate of my um, lfo down here in my auto filter so what i want to show this time is how you would save changes to those things um, as the track actually plays. So that would be a process called automation. And uh, we've seen in earlier lessons how automation can be added by going to the automation menu and actually drawing it in with your mouse on this line. But now I want to demonstrate how you would go about doing automation by actually touching the MIDI controller message and controlling that. So um, to do that, we have to change a setting in our track inspector. And that setting is right here. And right now it's set to read, which means it reads whatever information is in the automation menu. But we have more options, such as touch, latch, and write. I highly recommend the use of latch, especially the first time you're doing anything. Touch is more a subtle editing kind of thing for later. And write, the only reason I use write is to go back and completely erase any of the changes I've made um, and basically start from scratch. Write will will uh, write over everything at the same time. Whereas latch only begins to change something that you change along the way. So if you never touch the volume knob, it won't write volume. If you never touch the rate knob, it won't write rate that time. Only the things that you touch during that individual performance will be affected. So all you have to do is have it set on latch and then play the song and record what you want on your controller messages. So I'm just going to play, not hit record. I'm just going to play and then manipulate the controller message and it will, you'll see it in the automation screen begin to write the, what I do with the knob and slider. So this time I'm just going to do volume. <laughs> So now I have a more expressive performance of what I did with my uh, volume slider. So you could see as I manipulated the volume slider along the way over here, it actually wrote it into the software. And I'm going to do a very similar idea, except this time I'm going to use the rate, which I have set to this wheel right here. So here we go. And we'll play it again, this time controlling rate. <laughs> So now my rate has actually been adjusted along the way so you can see the two rates. Now if I'm done, I'm going to go back and change this from latch to read, meaning whatever I change on this time, it's not going to remember it. But now I can play my performance and you'll hear both volume and rate change. <laughs> So I think that's pretty interesting. It allows you to do a lot of things by touch and feel instead of just by uh, penciling things in. I hope that helps. Uh, enjoy. Be creative. <laughs>